I would have actually been quite happy with that. Or have them as two separate ones, I guess. But I would have been happy with them as one thing, you know? As a duo. They maybe treat them no differently than any other hero. As in, they all they both only get one talisman each. Well, sorry, they, they can only get the tree as they rank up. Um, they only get the few abilities. That's it. But, you know... They, you're actually sending the two guys. It's, just, it's a cute little thing, you know? Um, maybe give them a special buff because they're... Actually, no, that wouldn't work. Now, if they're two separate units, then giving them a you know, Paladin and Palace thing. But, yeah. They, sorry, it's just cute. But, um, yeah, it's just like they m missed an opportunity and they kind of... Alright, a oh, good one. Deep breaths. Uh, they, they kind of missed an opportunity and they kind of fucked it up, you know? They kind of screwed the pooch there. Multiple times. But, um... It, it, it's only a little side thing. It's not too big of a deal, but it is annoying me now, as you can tell. I offer service with a smile. <laughs> uh, the boys and I—I've only traveled together for a little while, but I already can—but I, I already can't imagine life without either one of them. Hope the ride wasn't too bumpy for you. Here, uh, ha, uh, sorry. Have a look around the tower while the horses rest. It's no lights of chapel, but I'm sure you can find some way to keep yourself busy. Got a talent point. Deeper stratagems, anticipation, and vigor. Uh, we'll go anticipation. What are you looking for? What do you need? Uh, Zeldar the Outcast. And how may I help you? Uh, can you believe it? After all the trouble we have in the playgrounds, we have to worry about thieves too. Not just normal thieves, troll thieves. Not just normal troll thieves, dead troll thieves. Dread by this big dead troll named Z Zaldar the Outcast. They come from uh, they come here at night and steal bodies from the graveyards, then take them back to the evil dead troll hideout, then undercraft to the southwest. Go there, take out and take out Z Zaldar, uh Kogorot. I'm sick to death of his mischief. Um There's the thing with these guys. You see these like as we saw back in Zulgrop, there is a ton of these troll berserkers. But you find out in Northrend how this uh, 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 Scourge made them. There be some experiments in Zuldrak. They made them that way. But how all these other uh, troll berserkers exist, I have no idea. Like the Scourge made these guys this uh, made made these abominations look like that. But yet, these trolls have them naturally. It made no sense. Why haven't we left yet? I'm getting ready to head off on my own if we don't get going. But um. It does make sense. And in um, Burning Crusade, we find a orc. It's a big hulking orc that looks a lot like them, but red and orcish. It even has tusks, but they're upward pointed ones. Again, orc. Um, and they're made by, you know, fell shit. You know? Like, it's just been altered by fell magic and experimentation or whatnot. And yet the... Uh, a, you know, uh, Grosh's Horde has one just lying around. It was just very weird. It's just like, how the fuck did they get one of them, you know? Or are they now doing foul research? Because, as far as I know, there's no backing to that. You know? So it's just like, I'm not sure if this is a case of, you know, me just not knowing a bit of lore. Like, there's all those chronicles and lore books. I might just not know a bit. Or is this a, f a little fub up, or what, you know? So, yeah. I'm a very obsessive person when it comes to war. Very obsessive. Like, you know, I'm very, very obsessive. While we're waiting here at this tower, we might as well see if anyone else is heading to White Hope Chapel. The more the merrier, I say. Ask around if anyone wants to join our us on a little trip. I'm sure you can find someone who's headed to White Hope. We will have justice. Oh, Red Pat. Uh, we've all been witness to terrible tragedies, but we must not let them drag us to despair. Instead, hold those memories close so that one day we might find a reckoning. Red Pat, for those, uh, for people, uh, for people who've played well before and gotten here, you know what that name sig signifies, Darrowshire. There is a few Red Pats around the world. One in Everlock. This guy here in uh, he used to be in Light Hope Chapel, but he's been moved down here, and I believe there's another one. All of them, I do believe, give you a quest to go to Darrowshire. T 
just do a little power. Um, this quest used to be longer, I do believe. It probably got gimped down a bit in Kata, but we'll still see. There is a song, I can't remember who it's by, but it's by Daroshar. Uh, Bob, sorry, it's not by Daroshar. It's about Daroshar, the old version. Uh, but, to be honest, as far as I know, it could apply to the new version just as easy. But, um, there's a music video for it too, I do believe. Uh, go look it up. Um, just look up Daroshar's song, you'll probably come across it. I can't remember the guy's name. Actually, uh, actually, someone's I just have to come up uh, as well. Uh, just so if you understand, here we are, which um, seems like uh, someone else is just turning up. Um, Big Bo um, the Darushar songs on the album Big Boob Dress by C R A N I U S. It's up on iTunes if you're interested. Just send a tweet to myself. I saw it here on Twitter. I just want to um, read it later. Read. There we go. Um, so, yeah, that's the song I'm referencing. Uh, the Battle for Darashar still haunts me, Morgan. Wake up in cold sweats, convinced that I'm still there, that it's happening all over again. I've coped with lots of comrades, but the loss of my family members is so pain cripplingly painful. One of my kin is was uh, one of my kin lost during the attack was my young niece, Pamela. If you're brave enough to enter Darushar, will you search for any signs of Pammy? Uh Darushar's ruins are due south of here. Uh we're we, are you interested in joining our caravan? We're headed to Light's Hope Chapel. I've spent far too ta long in that town. It's a wonderful place, and I've enjoyed my service there, but I think I prefer to stay here. Not you, but yeah, you used to get, get him from there before. Uh, one head to let's hope. Oh no! Uh, oh, I n no, I never, c I could never. Afraid of horses. Chromi. Hello, Kogrot. I'm known as Chromaro. Uh, Chromam Chromamu. Remember hearing before that her ending to her name is actually odd. It goes against naming scheme. There's like a, some many names for guys and so many names for girls. Uh, well, like there's like you know, um, like you know, like a lady dragon will have a a name ending in A, B, or C. A male will have their name ending in B, uh, D, C, E, and F. You know, they won't. You know, it's it's done. Didn't dragon names are set up like that? Uh, it might be. It's presumably different for the different fights, but you get my point. Tromies actually borrows, takes one from the guys for some reason, but it's a lady. It's not a big deal, but that's a lower tidbit. I remember reading, whether it's accurate or not, is another matter. Uh, it was on the wiki. Um, I'm known as Cromaro, but you may call me Chromie. I'm comfortable with such familiarity. Now, how did I know your name, you ask, when the Bronze Dragon fight, forever tuned to the Ebon Flow of Time. You could say that we have met, and we met before. To that end, we shall also meet again. Are you interested in joining a caravan? We're headed to the Light's Hope Chapel. No thanks. Maybe someday in the future. Or the past. Not today. So it's nice to see she's still there. She's still in the outfit from, uh, rich, uh, from Classic WoW. Even though she was apparently getting attacked over in the plague. Oh, I have no idea. No. The other chromie thing is just like confusing things. Let's let's head up to the top of the tower. Basically, in 6.2, there's a chromie thing. The Manny Dead's chromie. You have to work with chromie to event, uh, prevent an assassination attempt on her in the fu in the near future. Um, so you have to go help her out a bit. And uh, she says just at the start of Cataclysm. She was being besieged. Christ, that's blinding me. Archer parachutes. I can jump off and it'll activate. But, um, I don't know why that's here. Christ, my eyes. Argus High Beacon, you fuck. My eyes. But, um, 
you have you have to stop her uh, being killed. And uh, during one of the attempts on her life, it was by the Alliance and the Horde. And unless they were being manipulated to attack her, and that, or, well, regardless of they were being manipulated to attack her, that happened before, you know, I did that Anderhal quest there. So that was like the early days of the Cataclysm, before I got there. There was huge challenge preventing her from flying off. So, how does that tie in with this? You know? It certainly explains her being moved over here, you know? Well, actually, the f even the faction moving in there would explain her moving over here, you know? But, you know, she's on neutral ground now. You know, she's with the Argent Crusade. They, they wouldn't give a shit about her. You know? Well, the others might. But, um... What am I trying to say? Yeah, it just... I, just I'm thinking of continuity and things, and it just seems not to line up right, you know. But again, I'm nitpicking, nitpicking. So yeah, it's just that's all it is. The Argent Crusade built these towers to be flight, uh, to be points of light in the darkness of the playgrounds. I walk the path between these towers, protecting and maintaining them. The roads have been dangerous lately. Plagued wildlife runs rampant, and bats swoop down upon unsuspecting travelers. It will make the, la the next leg of my journey much easier if you could clear some of the wa this wildlife out of the way for me. Be oh, excuse me. We're headed to Light's Hope. Well, I'm he I am headed in that direction. I've only been down here at Crown's Guard because of all the wildlife activity on the road. I'm going to deal with you. Help me clear the roads, and yes, yeah, so I'll join your group. Ah, beautiful. Finally, I'm away from the fucking beacon. Hurts my bleeding eyes. Ugh. I feel blinded now. Argus High Beacon. That old guy at the top of the tower? Great. Man his age must have been in the Arch Crusade for a long time. Maybe he'll put a good word in for us at the Light's Hope. Rain. Oh, I know her. We fought her during the other thing. Uh, you know, the team Um. Yeah, okay, let's actually wander over here for a moment just to get this place on the map. It's annoying that we didn't get it. But, um. We fought her during the Death Knights thing. She was, uh. Oh, remember I was saying there was some a raid boss you could fight? He used to live up here. So here's a white hound that just looks like one of the new dogs had been added in in uh, Cataclysm. Yes, Maris is dead. Gish the moving. Oh, here it is. But, um. Yeah, we forced, anyway, the other one up at the uh, farmstead. I think she's tied in with the Cenarian Circle. Ooh, I just got an essence of undead. Do. It's a. Classic crafting reagent for alchemy. Hmm. Uh, never really used. Uh, well, sorry, I'm not sure if Doug sell too well. Okay, some blight hounds. Mystery meat. Not very really sure if we should be, set, you know, taking meat from these, but sure. There's a shield in there. Might be a horde quest. There's nothing else in here. But yeah, the guy was hostile to everyone. But Sylvanas turns up and recruits him. Um, in Kata, I think. So yeah, he left the farm, left the stead at last. And like I said, he became her uh, chief bodyguard or something, ranger general maybe. I think, which I think is Sylvanas' old title. So yeah. And the, here's these unliving moss flares. It's where, it's where they have a like model from um, uh, Northrend, yeah, fro uh, Frostro model or something. But maybe I'm wrong. It just seems um, different than what I expected. Oh, 
This is a very small crypt. There's there's a scroll there on the ground. I think maybe once he gave a quest, but actually yeah, I did once. Ow. Guess he didn't take him kindly to being stunned. Yeah, once that gave a quest, I do believe. But not anymore. No further text. Deep beneath the undercroft, the outcast rots away. Wonder why he's called the outcast. Presumably he's outcast. I've been. He's been. Well, he's an outcast. But from where? From, you know, what group? I guess Moss Flares? Is, is that a, tr a group or a job description? So that is a fucked up tree. It's actually kind of creepy and unnerving to look at. Just a drop in the bucket. Huh. Okay. Two more quests to do. Let's go do. How about Pamela? Mine. Um, I need to get up to 220 um, for um, the. Um, I'll start. I'll stop getting stalks. I did glimpse the uh, mining, the, like the herbalism level needed. It's only there for a moment because you can mine anything now. But in the past, you could only mine according to your level. Uh, now you can mine anything, but you don't necessarily get the ore. You don't have to worry about these scourge banners. Last I remember, this place is actually empty. I believe Chromie was actually tied in with this question. Maybe that's what that's probably why she's up above. Yes. And here she is over here. The um I don't actually know how long it's it's been since um this. You know? I don't know how long it's been since the end of uh but since Warcraft 3 to even Classic WoW, you know? I don't know how long. It's, um... Been a while, but I don't know how long. You know? Like, it was, it was a good few years. But, uh, then I'm not sure from Classic WoW to Burning Crusade and to Wrath of the Lich King. I know it's three years from Wrath of the Lich King to Cataclysm. But I've done... Um, or at least... Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think it was three years. I'm not really sure on anything else, you know? Like, on, on the time on the uh, timeline. Actually, I'm gonna have to wrap it up soon. I need to be awake early tomorrow. Um, well, or I need to be awake early enough tomorrow. So, um, yeah. Hello, I'm Pamela. What's your name? You know, good luck to me on that front. I never feel warm anymore. Pamela saw. My auntie Marlene told me to go to stay in here in our house because my father had to go and fight. My father is the bravest man in the whole world. But I've been here a long time, and it's not come for me. Sometimes bad people come and whisper to me. I don't want my dad to make him go away, but he's not here. And sometimes when it gets dark, I want to play with my doll, but I can't because I left it in town. Will you find my doll for me? Rather sad, you know. My daddy's kept two swords: one for hunting men, one for fighting with men, one for hunting with animals. I wasn't supposed to touch his swords, but I knew. But I knew where he hid them. One day, my, he told my. Um, huh. Uh, one day he told my mommy that he was going to fight a lone hunter in the hills of the east, and he brought his animal sword. But he brought his animal sword with him. When he came back, he didn't have his sword with him. When my daddy comes back, he'll be so happy when I give him his animal sword. Will you go and find it? Well, this is a different one. I don't remember this. Here's the doll. Oh, Christ, the doll's in multiple halves. Leave this place. Can't be chilled. Rude. Oh. And the other half's over here. Alright. I was kind of expecting it to be a very different place. Again, I leave this place. And I got chilled. Not that old save. 
Tak jsem to.